What's up guys, it's your boy RJ the Grinder. I'm back with another cooking video for y'all, man. Look, I would say about a week or so ago, my fiance and I, along with uh, some co-workers, some good friends of mine, went out on a uh, fishing trip, had a blast, caught some rockfish. Now here in Maryland, we call them rockfish. Um, you might be familiar to striped bass or you know things like that. That's what other people call it, but it's rockfish to us here in Maryland. So we caught some rockfish. I'll insert some pictures in so you guys can see that uh, from our trip. So that's what we're gonna be cooking today. But I'm doing it with a little Maryland twist. Today I'm gonna stuff it, okay? Maryland style. So I'm gonna stuff it with some crab meat. All right. Now, if you can't afford the lump crab, get a uh, back fin. Stay away from claw. Try to back fin. The back fin's the best. I'm gonna also be putting some scallops in it. All right. And I'm gonna put some shrimp in it as well. All right, we're gonna hook this thing up. I'm gonna show you how we do it, Maryland stuff. But the first thing I need to make is go ahead and get my Imperial started. So, what I'm gonna do We'll start off with some mayonnaise. Some mustard. with some hot sauce. And I prefer Texas Pete, but the wife likes uh, French Red Hot Sauce. Some hot sauce. More hot sauce in there, the flavor. I'm trying not to butcher this, y'all. Some Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, that stuff. being from Maryland, some Old Bay. Some black pepper. And, that's for not leaves. some lemon juice. Squeeze it right on up in there. Mix it up real good. Crab pie. Up in there real good. All right, got our scallops. Start throwing them in there like that. Just rip them up a little bit to help them break down. But once you mix everything up, all right, yeah, I'm gonna put a few shrimp in as well. Okay, a few shrimp. Yeah. Let's put the skin off of them. We got our crab, our scallops, and our shrimp. All in our sauce. We're gonna mix her up real good. Get her in there real good. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, as you see, I've already uh, cleaned my fish up. I cut the head off, I cut the tail off. I would have done it here on YouTube, but I heard YouTube's been cracking down on um, blood and things like that. So uh, I just wanted to be careful. Um, I also took 
the backbone out of it, all right, to help open them up more. So now what I'm about to do is, take my Imperial. We're gonna go ahead and spread it all over this fish here. You guys have to try this. And don't be stingy. Get it on every inch of that fish. And get all of it on there. What I'm gonna do, just for good measure, top it off with a little bit more old, old bay. You can't go wrong with your old bay, baby. Get it off with a little bit of butter before she goes in. Sorry, let it spew all on the sides. And you just wanna add just a little bit of water. You're gonna put your uh, oven to 350. She's ready to go in the oven. So I'll be back when she comes out and show you guys the final product. All right, guys, moment of truth. It's been baked for about 15, 20 minutes. And then you take the uh, aluminum foil off, which I did put aluminum foil on the top before I put it in. You take it off and let it get a little brown on the top and um, leave that in for about another 10 minutes. And uh, you should have the final product this right here oh man and that looks so good set that up there oh my god look at that I cannot wait to dig into that I mean and that's just a mixture of your shrimp your crab your scallops and of course some good old rockfish so what I'm gonna do once the camera come back on, it'll be the final taste test with the family. But yes, that looks so good. Y'all have to try this recipe. See you guys at the table. All right, guys, we're back. We're at the table. I got to plate it out for me. The wife made some Brussels sprouts. Um, I was never really too crazy about these things. But, you know, you get older, some things grow on you. So here is the moment of truth, the taste test. Well, I know what it's gonna taste like, but I'm just going in, man. I'm gonna get a nice piece of that, and she's good and hot. Mm -hmm. Some good white meat. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all have to try this recipe. Please try this recipe. And let me know what you think. This is so good, right? I appreciate you guys like always. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button for us. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. If it look good to you, if it don't. If it don't look good to you, oh well, it tastes good. <laughs> But this is for y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. And we are out. Peace.